started, we were like, what, what should we call ourselves? After we had been around for a few months and like, you know, this isn't just something we're, we're going to be a band. And so we started by naming our band after the address where we practiced. And that's kind of unoriginal. It's been done. That's fine. It's stuck for a little while. Then, I have to preface this with, I have a grandmother who will be 87 this year. And in her 87 wonderful years of life, she's given money to many organizations. One of those is the World Wildlife Fund, which helps support endangered and species that are in trouble across the world. And so, because of that, she gets things in the mail all the time from them. And we ended up with this panda bag. And you can kind of see where this is going. Anyway, we started keeping cables and cords and things in this bag. And inevitably, at every band practice, something would happen where somebody would say, where's that adapter? Where's that microphone? And we would say, it's in the panda bag. And it stuck. Somebody said, why don't we name the band that? So we did. And here it is. And this, we carry this with us every time we perform. And it's been great. So. Being a, I mean, when you create a music or you write a lick or you write a melody, it's kind of, it's, it feels great. And you want to share that with other people. And uh, so, so it's, it's a form of expression for me, just like a painter would like paint or some carpenter would build something. For me, it's music. So that's it. But this time I can see you coming. And now it's out of my control. We are Panda Bag, and we invite you to come out and see us on April 13th at 1 p.m. outside the Moss Art Center. We hope to see you there. I won't let my feelings show.